In this video, I will be sharing the top reviews of the book called, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, authored by Taylor Jenkins Reid who is the New York Times best-selling author of Malibu Rising, Daisy Jones and the Six, and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, as well as four other novels. Her newest novel, Malibu Rising, is out now. She lives in Los Angeles. But before we get to the reviews let's see a little bit of what this book is about. Aging and reclusive Hollywood movie icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. But when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant for the job, no one is more astounded than Monique herself. Why her? Why now? Monique is not exactly on top of the world. Her husband has left her, and her professional life is going nowhere. Regardless of why Evelyn has selected her to write her biography, Monique is determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career. Summoned to Evelyn's luxurious apartment, Monique listens in fascination as the actress tells her story. From making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s to her decision to leave show business in the 80s, and, of course, the seven husbands along the way, Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and great forbidden love. Monique begins to feel a very real connection to the legendary star, but as Evelyn's story near its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in tragic and irreversible ways. Now let's get to the reviews. Melanie from Las Vegas says this is one of the best books I've ever had the privilege to read. It is probably in the top 5 for best books I've ever read in my entire life. I have been looking for a book like this my entire life, and no combination of words I'm about to type and you're about to read, is going to do this masterpiece justice. But I will say that Gabby, Jose, and Elise were all right, and I'm so happy I listened to them because this book is worth every single ounce of hype. And when I say that this book is life-changing, I truly mean it. This book is sold as a historical romance, where you learn about a fictional, famous, old Hollywood actress and all her marriages. What you get is a book that stars a bisexual, Cuban woman who was never allowed to talk about the love of her life, her wife. And when I say I cried during this book, I truly mean that I probably need to buy a new copy because I was the biggest mess you've ever seen. Chai from France says I want to be as motivated and focused in university as Evelyn Hugo was in continuing to flourish after all of her seven divorces and getting richer than all of her seven husbands combined. Then spend the rest of her days frolicking in sun-hazed fields of butterflies and dandelion clocks with her wife. This book was so wild I feel like it fundamentally changed me as a human being. I've witnessed cosmic justice at its coldest and its darkest. I'm genuinely so tempted to go buy myself an expensive bottle of wine and drink it alone in a hammock while listening to 80s music and cry just for the drama of it all. That probably won't solve all my life's problems but it would certainly distract me from them. This book is about Evelyn Hugo being honest about her negative habits and mistakes and taking ownership of her faults and flaws. This is her demanding to be humanized after being put on a pedestal her entire life. And most importantly, this book is a reminder that no matter how glamorous other people's lives might look, they've had days, many days, and many days in a row where they've felt unloved and rejected and ugly and like nothing they do has a point. They're not all that different and untouchable after all. Overall, I really loved this book. The plot twists were incredible. I really can't recommend it highly enough. L from Pennsylvania says I think a lot about the idea of love as something dangerous, as something that you have to fight for. And it's only recently that I've decided that's something that probably has to do with loving women. I have been very lucky, in growing up in liberal California and in the 2000s. But I received marriage rights in my country four months after realizing I liked girls, and in reading about the past and thinking about the past, I am constantly, daily, reminded how being born ten years earlier would have made everything that much more dangerous, that much more violent, that much more fearful. And there is something so woefully romantic to me about the fact that there were people who braved that climate and loved anyway and paved the path, while doing so, for me and so many others. So that's all to say that this book made me experience all five stages of grief and simultaneously made me feel every positive emotion in the world and I have no idea how that is possible. But listen, if you only read one book I recommend you this year, I want it to be this one. Emily from the United Kingdom says I can't say for sure what drew me to this book. It's not the kind of thing I usually pick up, 
and I haven't read anything by Reed before. But something about it intrigued me. So I checked out the Kindle sample. Just a couple of chapters, I figured, because I probably wouldn't like it anyway. And I was hooked. It's perfect, easy beach read material. It's not particularly deep, it does not take the genre to new levels or make you think about something new, and yet it did feel different. Evelyn Hugo's story was so delicious and compelling that it stood out, and kept me turning pages in a desperate need to discover the stories behind her seven husbands, and the answer to the one question everyone wants to know, who was her greatest love? The framing of the story reminded me a lot of the 13th tale. Like that book, in The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, a young woman, this time an ambitious journalist called Monique Grant, goes to interview an elderly woman. Unlike The Thirteenth Tale, this elderly woman happens to be one of the most famous actresses in the world. Evelyn Hugo has lived a life in the public eye, but she is full of secrets. Only she knows what happened behind the scenes in her long career of scandals and highly publicized heartbreaks. Just like the fictional world of the book longed to know the truth. So did I read and Evelyn's habit of giving you just enough to leave you wanting more was incredibly exciting. Throughout, we are encouraged to wonder why someone like Evelyn Hugo would specifically request a relatively inexperienced journalist like Monique. Why Monique? What is Evelyn hiding? Emma from the United States says this is genuinely one of the most remarkable novels I have ever read. It is a favorite of the year, it will be a favorite of all time. I am wholly enchanted by The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I will never forget how much I adore this book. Adult fiction is not typically my cup of tea, especially a combination of historical fiction and contemporary with the number of long flashbacks, flashbacks, also not my thing. I have no idea how this combination of literary elements I typically do not like consumed my entire being, but it did. Taylor Jenkins Reid is an immensely talented author. Her prose is beautiful, vivid, and descriptive. There isn't a moment throughout this story where I was bored or underwhelmed. Every second of this book is completely engaging, it was a huge struggle to put the book down. Evelyn Hugo is one of the greatest literary characters I have ever had the pleasure to read from. The exploration of her Cuban heritage and bisexuality is fascinating, especially given the era and her celebrity status. She is one of those intoxicating characters you will never be able to purge from your mind with her strong will, her independence, her strength, her cunning, and her compassion. Evelyn Hugo is unforgettable in my mind and hearing her story was one of the greatest pleasures I think I have ever experienced as a reader. I have provided the sources of this video in the description, please feel free to check them out. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and share this video.